I'll show you how to sign up for an account with Uphold, how to deposit and withdraw and trade assets on this platform, plus all of the other features. So I'm gonna show you on the web application, but you can go ahead and download the app on your phone as well. And it's this box right here, that's basically your phone screen. I'm just gonna show you with a bigger screen so you can see what we're doing here. But I signed up on my phone, and so I'll go through that process with you. I'll leave the Uphold link down below if you wanna go ahead and download it or sign up. Uh, you can follow along here. So we're gonna sign up with an account and give them an email address and password and verify that. And then from here, it's going to ask you to perform KYC. Now, because Uphold has offices in the US, the UK and the EU, that means they do things by the book and you're gonna to have to give them your ID details, information um, when you're signing up, just so that you can interact with all of the assets, right? Crypto assets, currencies, uh, some regions allow stock trading and, and uh, uh, precious metal trading as well. Not available in all regions, but when you sign up with Uphold, they do things by the book. So you're gonna have to give them all of your KYC details. So tell them about yourself, where you live, and then from there, verify your phone number, and it's going to ask you to verify your identity. So you need an ID card or a passport, take a photo of that. It's easier on your phone if you can do it, uh, both front and back. And then you have to take a selfie to prove that it's actually you and it matches up with your ID uh, details. From there, they're gonna let you into the app. Now, I actually wanted to take, uh, trade crypto and in my region, it says they need a bit more information uh, about me before they actually let me trade that. So as you can see here, it says, what are you gonna use Uphold for? So I told them and financial information, income, how much you expect to trade on the platform and everything like that. That's just info. It doesn't have to be you know, exactly what you are going to do. You may uh, expect to trade a lot more than you do or anything like that. They just need to take that information initially. So give them all of that and then you can actually go ahead and trade on the platform. Uphold say that you can trade anything for anything on their platform. That just means that they support trading of many different types of assets. So crypto assets, uh, fiat currencies, stocks and even precious metals. That's gonna depend where you live though. For all the US, I think you have the most access to the most different types of assets to trade. For other countries, they may not allow you to trade certain things. That's just regulation and everything in certain countries. So you'll have to see where you live, uh, what you can actually trade. Although they do have entities that are licensed in US, UK and EU. And that's obviously great. Now, in terms of the fees, these are gonna be slightly higher than you would get in some other types of exchange. For example, dedicated crypto exchanges have much lower fees, um, but sometimes not the best fiat currency on and off ramps. Uphold are onshore domiciled. They have good fiat currency on and off ramps. And so that's why uh, people would use Uphold and it's very easy to use, um, but the fees aren't gonna be as cheap. And I'll go through that in the trading section, but they have reserve status here, as you can see, um, their assets and obligations and liabilities you know, reserve status 101%. So they're onshore, they do everything by the book here, uh, and it's a good fiat currency on an off-ramp. You may want to add some extra security to your account as well. We just have a login with a password here. If you come to the more section, now on your phone, that would be down at the bottom. You can see these icons down at the bottom of your phone, but we're gonna uh, choose more, and it brings up your account. We're gonna go to security, and here it says two-factor authentication. You might wanna put this on. This is where you use an authenticator app like uh, Google Authenticator. You can link it with your Uphold account, and then it's gonna create the, a six-digit code that refreshes every 30 seconds. And when you do anything important, it's gonna ask for that. Now that's okay, it's a little bit clunky though. I hope Uphold will incorporate pass keys login in the future, I'm sure they will. If they do ask you for pass keys when you're watching this, definitely go ahead and set that up. Then you just use your biometrics to log in. It's a lot safer, uh, but for right now, I have the two-factor authentication, so I can set that up with Google Authenticator. You'd have to go and download that and set it up with the Uphold app. Uh, so you just press uh, this option right here, and it says enable uh, two-factor authentication. It's gonna go and give you a QR code and a long code at the bottom. So go into Google Authenticator, you just have to scan that code, and then it's gonna set up the authentication for you. But make sure that you uh, also write down the long code if you are setting up Google Authenticator because if you ever lose your phone with Google Authenticator, you need to reload that same code. And if you have that written down, it's a lot easier. So definitely do that if you're setting up 2FA. Now we have to set up some payment methods with Uphold so that we can put money on the platform to go ahead and trade. So if we come to the More tab again, you should see your linked accounts here and you can set up cards and banks. Now, if you wanna set up a card, just press the plus button and put your card details in and it will charge your card to pay for assets. Now, I don't recommend this because the fees are usually really, really high. You'll pay anywhere between two and 4%. You pay card fees, potential foreign exchange fees on your card, and then uphold fees as well. That can add up to a lot, so I don't recommend it. The cheapest way and the best way for me is setting up a bank account. So what you'll do is actually set up a bank account 
within Uphold. They're gonna give you a unique account that you can send money to. So you go over to your banking application and you make a withdrawal to your Uphold bank account. Now, usually, if you're in the same country, that's most of the time cheap and free, right? So I know in the UK, you can make free payments on the faster payments and other uh, countries may have that as well. So what we can do is go back into the home screen and then from here, you wanna click your banking icon. So see your total balance and it's gonna give you the bank details. Now, I've actually set up these two. There will be a pop-up for you that will say, do you want to create an account? You say yes, and then it will say, we may take up to 24 hours to process this. It took like 30 seconds for me, uh, and I've actually got a unique IBAN uh, bank account number, and that's gonna be set up, and that's where I send the assets. So once you've set it up and accepted it, you'll have USD or Euro or pounds or whatever currency that you're in, you'll have those options. Now for me, as you can see here, if I press transact and select source, this is where we actually make those deposits, right? So I can press this and you can see that I've got my banks, GBP and Euro. In your country, it will be your fiat currency, but these are literal bank accounts. So if I click this, it will say my uh, name, right? So it's actually set up a bank account in my name. I've got a sort code and account number. You can see the bank name right here. So that is the bank account, account details that you'd send to. So go over to your bank account, make a withdrawal, put all of this in, and then send it over to your account within Uphold. Now you basically have a bank account with cash in it, and then you can swap that into other assets on Uphold. We can also deposit cryptocurrency into Uphold. A lot of people do this to cash out, so they may deposit some crypto, then they can sell it for their fiat currency, and then send that fiat currency back to their bank. The way that we would do this is going to this trade section here called anything to anything. This is where we trade. Now, it's slightly strange that we have to press this to actually make a deposit of crypto, but it's just how it works. So go to transact and then select source. Click this and it's going to say, you know, what do you want to sell in order to buy something else? We're not selling right now. We just need our crypto deposit address. So if you have one of the cryptos that's supported, you can go ahead and get your deposit address for your uphold account. So I'm going to press show more and see all of the cryptos here. What I'm gonna do is search for the crypto that I have. So you can search for anything that's supported, like Bitcoin is supported here, and you'll just have a Bitcoin deposit address that you can send Bitcoin to. What I'm gonna do is deposit a stable coin. So any of these that are supported, I'm gonna send some USDT, and it says, which network are you using? If you're into crypto, I assume you know this stuff anyway, right? So if you have crypto already and you've bought that, I'm sure you know how to use, uh, you know, sending crypto in and out of crypto platforms. It's actually pretty easy. So I know that I've got some USDT and I've got this on the uh, Optimism network, let's say. So I'm gonna click that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our deposit address. So I can now show this address. From here, I have to go to where I have my stable coin or may I, any other crypto, right? So if you're sending in Bitcoin, you'll have a Bitcoin deposit address. If you're sending Ethereum, you have an ETH deposit address. Now for me, I'm sending USDT over the Optimism network. So I've got it on the Optimism network and I've got my other account here and I'm just gonna scan the QR code. So I'll show this address. I receive USDT, that's my address. So I'm just gonna scan the deposit address and that's my deposit address for Uphold. Now in my platform right here where I have the USDT, I'm going to choose to send over the Optimism Network. The reason being is that Uphold are expecting it on the Optimism Network, right? So same asset, same blockchain. USDT on the Optimism Network. In my account right here where I have the USDT, I need to make sure that they can send on the Optimism Network as well because same asset, same network. They do, and so I'm just going to actually deposit the USDT over the Optimism Network, and I'm gonna send it into the address of my Uphold account. So I'll go ahead and press withdraw on this platform, and that sends the same asset on the same network to my Uphold account, and they will credit that to my account, and then I'll have a balance to go ahead and trade. Now I'll show you how to swap one asset for another on Uphold. So we're gonna to come to the anything to anything section, and then down here, press select source. This is where the money or the value is coming from that we're selling in order to buy something else. So you can see that that USDT is now deposited onto my platform. So I've got 20 USDT to trade with, $20 essentially. But if you have assets elsewhere, if you wanna make a bank transfer or you know Apple or Google Pay, whatever, you can choose that and it's gonna then go ahead with that transaction to get the money into your account to swap into the other thing. In any case, I'll choose USDT because I've got some value here and I'm going to trade it for uh, another asset. So you can trade it for everything that's supported. So crypto accounts, uh, utility tokens, national currencies, whatever that you want to trade, it's going to give you an exchange rate. I'm going to swap for Bitcoin here. So 
Uh, I'm essentially using dollars to buy Bitcoin and I'm going to press that I want to buy $10 worth. So what we can see is that Uphold is giving us an exchange rate. So it tells us the exchange rate down here that every one unit of Bitcoin is valued at 102,915. That's the exchange rate that we're getting and we're buying a tiny fraction of a Bitcoin, but we know the exchange rate is 102,915. So just to tell you how Uphold make their fees is that they charge a spread. That's uh, essentially like a trading fee, although what they do, because they don't actually charge fees, they charge a spread on the price. So if we go to Binance, which is the kind of world leader uh, in uh, you know, cr uh, crypto exchanges, the real price for Bitcoin in the market right now is 101,400. So what Uphold are gonna do is they're gonna go out into the market and buy Bitcoin somewhere around about this price, 101,456 and they're selling it to us at 102,915. So they're making a spread on the price and that's how they make their trading fees. So we can work that out to be 2%, maybe 1.8%, yeah, something like that. So it's a fairly high fee when you look at other crypto exchanges. So if you're using dedicated crypto exchanges, they have much lower fees, anywhere from like 10 to uh, 100 basis points, right? So 10 basis points, 0.1% to 1%. That's what you'll get in the market. So this is on the higher side for trading fees for sure, if you're looking to trade crypto. However, you know, they have offices on shore and they have good banking links. Uh, and so the fees are gonna be a bit higher here. In any case, what we can do is press preview trade then it's going to show you the exchange rate. If you want to go ahead and confirm trade down at the bottom, you can do that. That's going to swap one asset for another. We can also use limit orders on Uphold. So if you press limit, what this does is allow us to choose the price that we trade at. Right here on transact, you saw the exchange rate. It was given to us and we can either accept it or not. With a limit order, we can choose the price that we want to trade at. So I'm going to uh, sell my USDT again and I'm going to buy BTC again. But up here, I can choose the price target that I want to trade at. So let's say that I want to actually wait to buy Bitcoin at 100,000 USD. Well, what we're gonna do is send an instruction to Uphold to say, I'm a buyer of Bitcoin. And if someone is a seller, if the exchange rate gets to 100,000 uh, per Bitcoin, then that's when I want to buy. That is cheaper than what we got given in the market order, which is what, 102,915, right? So this is a limit order where we only trade if the exchange rate gets to the price that we want. Now, right now we can't trade if we input this order because our trade price, 100,000 is too low. The market is higher than this, the exchange rate is higher, so we won't be able to trade right now. But if the exchange rate falls a little bit, then our order will be done and we'll actually swap the two assets. So you can go ahead and preview that and then input that into the system. So let's put a limit order in. We're going to preview and we're going to confirm limit order and that should go in. Now, we confirm the limit order, we give it to Uphold, but we haven't traded yet because our you know, limit price is too low. You can manage your limit orders via the activity screen. So if you go to this tab here on the left, activity, in your phone, that'll be down at the bottom. We can see here that I have some activity. So I'm going to go to limit orders. This is my limit order. So this is good till canceled, meaning it's gonna stay there as a limit order until I cancel it. And if the price gets down to my limit, then I can go ahead and trade. What I want to do is press this. You can see this limit order. I want to actually delete this out, which is up here, like this. Do you want to cancel the limit order? Yes, like this. That cancels the limit order. So if I go to limit orders again, I don't have any active limit orders, which means I'm not gonna trade anything. I put the order in, it didn't get traded and I canceled it. So as you can see, my account hasn't traded anything. If you want to use Uphold as an off-ramp and actually get money back into your bank account, you have to reverse that process. So we're gonna press select source. If you have Bitcoin or any other crypto asset or you know other currencies or whatever, just press that. And then we're going to select destination and we're going to select our payment methods. So as you can see here, cards and banks. So press this. Now you should have a bank account set up if you don't have a bank account set up yet, what they're going to do is ask you to verify your bank account. So what you're gonna to have to do to verify is actually make a deposit into Uphold first, some small amount, just to confirm that where you're sending from the bank account is your bank account in your name with the same ID de details and everything else. Once you've made that small deposit in, it's going to accept and verify that bank account. Then you can make withdrawals to that bank account. So from here, just press to uh, accept, make sure you verified it. It's gonna give you your bank details. Then what you can do is sell that currency basically into the currency of your bank. So that for me, for that GBP bank account would sell the USDT. And I could then go ahead and transfer it into either of these two currencies. 
and then send that back into the bank account of that currency. So that is how you use uh, Uphold to cash out. You go to here, sell the asset that you want and send it back into your payment method. And that goes in either to a card or to a bank. But like I said, cards have high fees. Banks are going to have lower fees. You're going to still be paying the Uphold transfer fee. But from there, it should be a, a very low cost transfer into your local bank account. If you want to withdraw crypto from Uphold back to your own wallet or another exchange, we can go back to the anything to anything screen. So press transact here, click the asset that you want to send out. In my case, I'm going to send USDT, then select the destination. And we're not trading here, but we're sending out. We need to select crypto networks. So go down to where crypto networks are. You can see that I'm going to show more and you can find it here. I'm going to search for USDT and it says crypto networks or stable coins. I want to choose crypto network. If I choose a different stable coin, it's going to think that I want to trade between them, which I don't want to do. I actually want to send the crypto out of my account. So press crypto networks, USDT. It's going to say, which crypto, uh, crypto network do you want to use? So I'm going to use optimism again. And from here, I'm going to put an amount in. And then down at the bottom, it says preview withdrawal right here. It doesn't say preview trade, preview withdrawal. And it's going to say, where do you want to send the assets? So go over to the other exchange that you're using or your crypto wallet. You can paste the address in here, press confirm, and you can send that crypto out of your uphold account. And that goes into the other wallet address. Now you may have to pay a small fee here because we're using the blockchain. We have to pay a blockchain transaction fee. So that may come out of the money that you send, but that's going to change depending on which network. That is how to withdraw crypto into another exchange or another wallet. Instead of off-ramping to a local bank account, you may just want to keep the money in your uphold account because remember we actually set up bank account details in our uphold account so we have our own unique bank account within uphold that we can have currency balances on and then from there you can use the card to actually spend in shops or whatever you want to do so what you do is just apply for the card and then you can hold currency balances in your uphold account this is basically a global money account a bit like wise or revolute where you have your currency and then you can spend in foreign currencies they do the foreign currency transaction for you there may be some fees here it says zero percent foreign transaction fees but there may be extra fees here you'll have to check that because there may be a spread that they charge you as well so you just have to check the fees now for right now i think this is only available in the uk it may be available in other regions over time but um, instead of off-ramping if you can use this then you're essentially just using uphold as a fintech account if you're in the us uphold offers something called a yield account which is where you can put your us dollars into their platform and they set you up with a us dollar bank account it's fdic insured although you can see there are some terms here then this 4.65% is basically the treasury yield right now. So they're going to invest in short dated treasuries, maybe a money market fund, pass some of that yield back to you. Only available in the US on USD balances. You can see there's a $1 minimum, no maximums, no lockup periods. So it's basically a you know money market fund type account that you can earn some yield on your USD balances. If you want to create an uphold account, I'll leave the link below in the description box alongside some other helpful videos. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.